I'm Sarah Anderson, and for the past 17 years, I've been the lead author of an annual report on executive compensation published by the Institute for Policy Studies. And you might wonder, after all these years, how am I able to still get outraged about CEO pay? Well, I'm afraid that this year's report will raise just about everybody's blood pressure. Money. Because we're in the middle of a severe jobs crisis, we thought it was important this year to look at the companies that have laid off the most workers since the beginning of the crisis. And it's probably no big surprise that we didn't find that these CEOs were tightening their own belts. But what's truly outrageous is that we found these CEOs who had the biggest layoffs are actually making more money than their overpaid peers at other big U.S. companies. It's a We looked at the 50 companies that have cut the most jobs since the beginning of the crisis in November 2008 and found that in last year they made an average of $12 million. That was 42 percent more than the average for CEOs of S&P 500 companies as a whole. One of the CEOs who we highlight in the report is Mark Hurd of Hewlett Packard. Now, he's a guy who's been in the headlines a lot lately. He was fired recently for falsifying expense reports, uh, trying to cover up a relationship with a female contractor who also had been an uh, erotic film star. And this is what's been the, the big headlines, his personal improprieties. What hasn't gotten enough attention is the fact that Mark Hurd made $24.2 million in 2009 while slashing 6,400 jobs. To me, that's the real scandal at Hewlett Packard. We also looked at companies that, and CEOs that we call the bailout barons. These are CEOs of the firms that got the biggest taxpayer bailout money. And they're the biggest uh, CEO uh, in terms of pay was the CEO of American Express. He got $16.8 million last year. This is a company that has laid off 4,000 workers since receiving a big multi-billion dollar taxpayer bailout. Now, many of the bailout companies didn't pay their CEOs all that much last year, knowing that the public spotlight was really on these guys. But that didn't prevent them from shoveling multi-million dollar pay packages to other high-level executives. So clearly the pay practices haven't changed at these companies. The main point of this report is to illustrate the great unfairness of the Great Recession. CEOs are slashing workers in order to boost short-term profits and fatten their own paychecks. At the end of our report this year, we offer a scorecard that rates executive pay reforms, including some that have passed Congress recently. And here's where I get my optimism and my energy to continue this work, because a lot of very promising proposals have recently been adopted to give shareholders more authority, to increase transparency around executive pay. But so much more needs to be done, and there are creative and bold proposals out there to really rein in this out of control control pay system that was a key cause of the economic crisis, and we hope you'll check it out.